Good morning, guys. Welcome back to The Breakfast Club. This is season three, episode 34. I'm gonna apologize in advance because it is after four, and typically when we try to do these videos after four, the head brain to the mouth connection isn't good, and the speaky speaky don't work. Why use many word when <laughs> few do trick? <laughs> it's been a struggle just to get to this point, so yeah. Um, and ironically enough, we do actually have quite a bit to talk about today. Yeah, so, so we're going to use our big, uh, big brain time here and use our thinky thinkies. Yes. All right. Well, let's start off. Um, so last week we did a QD and we also featured here on the Breakfast Club the M1 Garens. The M1 Garens. Yes. So they weren't actually on the website yet when we talked about those. So they are now. They are in stock, available for purchase. Um, check there those out. There is like two left. Oh, Seriously? Yeah. We had quite a few, right? Yeah. Oh. So we're down to the last couple. Grab them if you can. Okay. Well then, there's that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm super excited to be like, hey, you can buy them now. You might be able to. I don't know. So um, check them out online. Andrea's put a link below. I have. I definitely have. Unless yes. this is Facebook. Um, if, then I did Well, no. I Do you? I put links in everywhere. Oh, yeah. You do the Facebook one. I never yeah. do that. I always just so, show things. Yeah, jeez. If you are ever curious about the specific things we talk about and you haven't ventured down to the bottom of the video before, there is actually links to all of the products. Correct. Yes. And not like the meow meow links, like the actual clicky links. What the heck's a meow meow link? Are you proud of me? I just said heck. <laughs> like the kitty. The links. Oh. <laughs> it's weird. <The> kitty. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Okay, um, <laughs> we also got a handful of Rossi R92s in. Yep. Um, a couple new models, I think. There wasn't any pictures of them, so I assume they're a newer model. Um, the Scorpio. It's not really new-ish. It's new a mare's leg. Oh, okay. That's called the Scorpio. Okay. And that's basically it, yeah, no. All right, well, a handful of different models. Check them out. A couple cool calibers, pistol calibers, and yeah. all the Rossi R92s are fantastic. We've had yeah. excellent luck with them. They are not crazy expensive. They're not super cheap, but they're not like $3,000. Good $3, middle of the road. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so they're pretty good, good for your lever action. Fill that need. Your need for a lever action? Yeah, I'm just trying to think. Do you yeah. own a lever action? I do not. I didn't think so. Actually, well, okay, no. I have a martini. Henry, it has oh. a lever on it, but I wouldn't call it a lever action. <laughs> <laughs> Allen guns with levers. Fair enough. But it's not a lever action, no. Um, okay, something else kind of different. We, and I, Tyson's gonna go into this one, but we received a couple of Remington shotguns. Now that's weird because Remington doesn't exist anymore. Kinda, yeah. Right? So yes and no, and you know that picture <laughs> of Spider-Man doing this? Like that, yes. that's what's happening. So we did get in some Remington arms 870 shotguns in 20 gauge 12 gauge a couple compacts this that and everything in tac 14s which were yeah. popular yeah. one to two years ago whatever they were so in 2020 it's 2021 isn't it yes yeah it was track of years it's 2021 so in 2020 remington went bankrupt so did like the whole freedom group did they all went and got spread out you know all the rest of the industry members in america ripped them apart into a billion pieces <laughs> like savage animals they are and the people who purchased Remington Arms, the manufacturer of firearms, the Roundhill Group, bought all the rights to all the manufacturing and all that stuff, so they took all that away. But they didn't buy Remington, the name. So that was actually purchased by the same people who bought the ammunition. So that's all separated too. So different people are doing different things. So the ammunition's being uh, manufactured under Remington Arms, and the new Remington Firearms is actually called Rem Arms now. So get rid of the Ingington. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so now it's just Rem Arms, but the ones we just got in are still Remington Firearms. Now, it's not manufactured by Remington Arms, so these are actually the, the last of the generation of Remington Arms shotguns that were put together with all the remaining pieces from the old manufacturing processes and all that jazz. So what we got in is the last of the old stuff before Rem Arms comes in and starts manufacturing their whatever they call whatever the new stuff is, yeah. which haven't seen any of that stuff, have no idea when we're gonna see it, but this is the last of the old stuff. There and go. the uh, I mean, we're still trying to figure out how warranty and everything's gonna work too, because Remington no longer exists, so is Rem Arms gonna warranty Remington Arms? But uh, Rem Arms does have a website now, and they have listed that their warranty 
is not covering any Remington Arms products, future or past or present. So if you have a Remington 870, like everyone in the country does, like either a Mossberg yeah. 500 or a Remington 870, there is no service for them available anymore. Because the company's gone. And right. you have to understand that. The company is gone. Right. Like, those people no longer run the company. It's now Rem Arms. It's a different company. They're doing their own thing. And I believe their whole warranty statement was one line. And it basically said, we'll look at it. <laughs> they yeah. gave no criteria whatsoever. Yeah. So they can basically They're probably do still working that out, too, to decide how to attack it. Yeah. They've got... That's got to be a big, like, a big problem to figure out. So yeah. leave it yeah. with them. I don't know. If you have an 870, it's not like there are parts out there. Yeah, that's true. They've been being manufactured for like forever. Yeah. So, yeah, that's what so, Remington's sitting at right now. Yeah, there's that. <laughs> Woo! Um, we also got a shipment of Dylan reloading. Do not get me started about in. Dylan. <laughs> <laughs> but apparently it's almost all gone as well. So if uh, you were looking for something specific, I would check it out sooner than later. Uh, as of Thursday at 4 p.m., there was five... 750s left, I believe, out of the entire shipment. So that's right. that's it. We got like pallets upon pallets of stuff. It's all gone. I managed to like fist fight a couple people in the barn to grab the stuff I needed. I wanted a like an empty bin cartridge for my square B, and I was right. in a fight. So yeah. uh, there's a little bit of it left. If you want a machine, get it now. Don't hesitate because this stuff took eight months, and their current lead time is 12 to 18 months. Yeah. So a very long time. Not ideal going into winter. No, because now you want to be reloading. Yeah. But get your hands on what you can. Um, yeah, we'll do what we... We have a handful of machines left and yeah. a couple square Bs and a handful of dies and all the different parts and accessories and pickup tubes and roller handles and this, that, and everything. So check it out yeah. at the Meow Meow below. <laughs> I'm just going to start calling them Meow Meows. Oh, gosh. You yeah. should know better than to make unobvious jokes unobvious at this jokes. time of day. I've got to, like, slip one in. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> honey. <laughs> Inappropriate. Uh, <laughs> I have to get in one horrible joke per episode. That was like my Family Guy reference. No yeah. one got that. That was hilarious. It's I thought that was me. funny. Yeah. Can you like? Uh, can you cut things out of YouTube? Because you need to put well, in like. I mean, I can. Should I? Probably not. Yes, you're gonna do it right here, and it's the guy <laughs> screaming leafers. Okay. Okay. I will, there it I was. will try to remember to look for that because I am genuinely curious myself. I'm going to send you the link. <laughs> Uh, so, moving on from that, what else? Uh, we said last week to stay tuned for our hunting stuff that we might be talking about very soon. Yes. Are we going to be talking about that soon? Yes. Okay, we have something fun coming your way to help you get ready for hunting season. Probably next week we'll be releasing Correct, that. yeah. Because okay. uh, I have all that stuff prepared for you. Right, I think I was... All the deets. Everything's collected, and okay. we were supposed to do we that. We were supposed to do something with that today, and we did. If you would like, I can send it home with you. Um, maybe. Anywho. Anywho. Um, okay, so for... <laughs> you don't like homework? <laughs> uh, we did a couple QDs today. So the one yesterday was on the B&T APC223. Ballers! Uh, Non-restricted 18.6 inch version. Um, also seen behind us. Yes. Yeah. Anything else you want to add to that? No, we've already talked about these a billion times for the APC 223. Awesome gun. Check it out below. Yeah. Uh, they are non restricted, super awesome, and that one is in the poncho draw. Okay, I couldn't remember if we uh, had released that detail yet or not. Uh, yeah, uh, like two or three episodes ago, we oh, had it on okay. the wall, if you recall. Okay. Uh, so, yeah, that's in the poncho draw. Yes. I mean, what? A Trigicon AccuPower 1 to 8 oh, in a right. ZRO mount. Go on an APC with a Surefire on it, so crazy. Yes. In case you missed that episode, we will be doing another poncho draw. Next week. Oh, I was gonna say very soon, but next week it is. No, deadlines. <laughs> now we're committed. Um, details will be released <laughs> next week. There will be the B&T as shown, and there will also be the Boom. Uh, MCR. Can I just turn around and do this? Yeah. So that's the Spec no. 180 MCR. So it has the new lower. Yes. Which currently is only available standalone. Correct. So we're giving away a MCR with a new spec lower, different buttstock, pistol grip, Athlon. I'm pretty sure I've already made a meme about this, but uh, hey mom, can we have a Mark 12? We have a Mark 12 at home. Mark 12 at home. So 
This is our Spec 180 Mark 12. Uh, you've got a 2.5 to 15 by 50 on top of it with an offset TSR1 Athlon red dot. You've got the Fab Defense wrap stock, rapid, applicable, pointy stock. I don't know what it stands for. Rapid access precision stock. Yes. I don't know if it's access. Is it access? I don't know. It's a rapid something precision stock. Yeah. Adjustable. That's the that word. That makes more sense. Wraps. <laughs> rapid adjustable precision. Blah, blah, blah. P -p 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 precision stock. There you go. So QD ports, two of them on there, both sides totaling four. You've got adjustable cheek and butt. And not only is it an adjustable length of pull on the butt, you can actually slide the butt up and down. That has a stock thing that goes right. up and down, which Very is, cool. you know, that's a shoulder thing that goes up and down. <laughs> Quick uh, M lock thing on the front, uh, yeah. the foregrip that you uh, put your meat gloves on. <laughs> a hand stop? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Hand stop. <laughs> So your meat gloves tickle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so that's a really cool build. I built that one up. It's in the poncho draw too. Yes, and there will be a QD coming out on that next week. Yes, and Andrea already did a bunch of amazing pictures, so we're gonna show off one or two of them right here. Bam, what? Give you me just, timelines. Yeah, you're forcing all this extra yeah. work on me. Okay, but yeah, stay tuned. Uh, we'll be releasing those details next week. Uh, we also have a third QD in the works that's going to be a fun one. Yes. We're not going to say too much about that, but... It goes boom and you can't have it. <laughs> Big boom. Can't have it. Sorry, <laughs> but... <laughs> that's basically it. And if anyone follows me on my, like, my personal page, you know what it is already. <laughs> right. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay. Is there anything else you want to cover? Uh, couple, I guess we kind of touched on it. So we've been getting um, some frequently asked questions, I'll say, in regards to the MCRs. Yes. We touched on it in the QD, uh, so definitely go check that out, but we can also touch next on it. Next week. Next week, right. <laughs> Got too many things on the go. Okay, so then we'll talk about it here first. Okay, so the MCR, you have the WSMCR and the WXMCR. I'm just going to mention it. The WK180C, that's way over here. That goes that way. <laughs> We're not talking about those. WXMCR, WSMCR. So for the WXMCR, there is one variation of it. It has a lower, a stock adapter, an upper, a six position collapsible stock, and a handguard. Those are the options. That's it. There's one of them. Now it's gone. The WSMCR, same configura uh, configuration as that one. You know, upper, lower, stock adapter, collapsible stock, handguard. Then it goes away. Now, version 1.2, or whatever we want to call it. Uh, yeah, don't the, give it any labels. <laughs> no, it doesn't have a label. Uh, the other version of it is lower that has milled in stock adapter, but it's not an adapter anymore. It's just part of the lower that has an AR thing on the end of it. It's not an adapter anymore. It's just where you put your stock. So the adapter's gone, and it's milled right into lower. Same profile of the lower. Drop the upper onto it, six position collapsible stock, or fixed stock, whatever you want, doesn't matter. Handguard, goes away. Spec 180, again, completely different, not part of the production guns. The Spec 180 is a standalone lower receiver yeah. that you can purchase as an upgrade on its own. If you want one- We don't have them in stock. Correct. We aren't currently stocking them. They are available- To order. To order. Um, I'll tell you why. These guys would take away from production of our current guns that we need to get out of here because people need their yeah. guns. So those are two order only. If anyone wants one, they can get one from us. Yeah, Let us gotta, know. Gotta contact us. So basically, yeah, we get every week we get a handful of the same questions. So for anyone who tunes in, I figured it might be beneficial to yeah. just kind of throw that out there as there are kind of a few different variations and people often wonder what the differences are. Yeah. Essentially not a whole lot, but just a few little things. They all kind of do the same thing, but in the end, if you wanted either a new extreme wire stock that looks like the SIG MPX stock or the Galil stock, or, well, the Galil stock fits on all of them anyway, that's completely different. But if you wanted a different adapter on the back, you need the original one. Right. Or there's the fixed stock ones so that you could get a 1913 adapter onto that. So you're just like slapping adapter after adapter on them. Uh, I want to say one thing. We're just going to grab this little WK one over here. Weep. There is a Spec 180 WK model. So if you oh. do have a WK 180C and you're like, ditch that lower, go with the Spectre. Well, you can get a Spec 180 lower for your WK-180C. Those are available as well. Let us know and we can order. Okay, so, um, <gasps> yeah. Okay. I struggle to follow all that. So basically, moral of the story is if you have any questions at all, please just contact us and we'll do our best to answer Correct. questions. Correct. Yeah? I am more than happy to help. Yeah. <laughs> all right. 
Um, other than that, I don't think I have anything else in my notes to talk about. You did mention that new stock, which we hadn't got to yet, so yes. we'll feature that here as well. Uh, new bus stock available for the MCR. It's pretty nice. You cut a bunch of weight off of the back yeah. end because there's no need for this, like the big chunky adapter and the AR stock and all that and a silly tube. Yeah. It's outdated. <laughs> Gone. It doesn't need, if, there's no reason to have a buffer tube on the gun. There ain't a buffer. Right. Get rid of it. 1913. Okay. Way better. So it's kind of an ever-evolving thing. Like things change. What? <laughs> so I might have to see. Oh. <laughs> might just jump off camera and you'll hear me go. Blah, blah, blah. I hope not. <laughs> Um, okay, well, that's it then. Um, anything else going on? Well, I'm gone right now. I'm not going to tell you where. I'm not here. I'm shooting. Bye. Oh, okay. It's Saturday. I'm not here. We do have an Ipsic match coming up in Burton next Saturday, right. hopefully. Yeah. As long as, you know, uh, things are done to the range and weather helps, uh, yeah. you know, weather let's permitting. just do that. Uh, we have been working our butts off, cleaning things up, making it ready. So that's going to be fun. Yeah. And so if you're in the area... Come, Come check, it, check out. it out. Um, sometimes questions that we get from people who aren't necessarily immersed into the firearms industry is, you know, why, what do you, if you own a handgun, what do you do with it? Yeah. Well, a common, you know, sport shooting, IPSC is a definitely a growing, in Canada, growing popularity. Oh, massive. Yeah. Um, if you're shooting handguns, you're generally either shooting IPSC or you are shooting some other discipline, IDPA. Right. Ha! No. <laughs> um, if you're shooting handguns in Canada, you're either shooting IPSC or three gun, where you have two other guns anyway, right. so you better know three disciplines right off the bat. Yeah. IPSC's fun. It's cool to watch, yeah. um, especially if you've never kind of been around it before. It's far from a, like a combat sport. It's definitely competitive. It's You set up stages. It's not like you're doing these silly things. Yeah. It's basically you have your gear, you're meant to go fast, have a powerful gun, and be accurate. Take out targets. Yeah. Bam. Yeah, so definitely check it out if you're in the area or not too far away. It'd be worth the drive. Uh, the store will be open 9 till 4. 9 till 4. 9 till 4. I and think. you get to hang out with this guy all day. I was going to say, I think I'm working And you're going to be Saturday. there. You can come so check us out. I take it back, maybe. Like. <laughs> come visit Andrea in the shop, and then you can come see me on the range shooting. Yeah, should be a good day. Hopefully the weather prevails. Yeah, I will. Be a good kind of last event. If it snows, I'm happy. I don't well, know. that's, yeah, you're weird. Okay. <laughs> I take that with a badge of honor. <laughs> <laughs> I know. All right. Well, thanks for tuning in and stay tuned for these next QD reviews we have coming your way. They're exciting. Uh, we had a lot of fun actually today. So. All right. Yeah. I'm done. You're done. <laughs> okay. Oh, I was supposed to the do the words, intro. The well. words didn't come out there. Okay. Bye. Bye, <laughs> friends. Bye. Don't forget about us. See you next week. <laughs>